Good morning, everyone, and welcome to August 23rd Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures up 23, the S&P futures are up 2, and NASDAQ futures are up 4. Both Asian and European shares were higher overnight. Futures were lower ahead of the bell on Wednesday as the bears hoped to take back more of their recent gains. The initial direction was down, but that shifted once the Fed released minutes from its most recent FOMC meeting. By the time the market closed, the S&P and NASDAQ were green, while the Dow closed lower. Today we'll get weekly jobless claims at 8.30 a.m., with the market looking for 365,000 claims, then new home sales at 10 a.m., with the market looking for 368,000 units. We'll get earnings today from Autodesk. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 1397, the 50-day at 1366, and the 200-day at 1332. The S&P closed at 1413 with support at 1397 and resistance at 1426. The bulls thought they were going to take control of the market for the second day in a row, and they did get off to a good start. Unfortunately for them, the Fed came to the rescue, telling the market that they will introduce new stimulus measures very soon, unless the economy takes a quick turn for the better. Accordingly, the S&P ended up very slightly for the day, beating the alternative of falling further. Now the bulls will be tasked with taking out Tuesday's high of 1426, which could quickly lead to a move to that May 2008. 8 high of 1440. With the Fed committed to thwarting further economic deterioration, it's tough to bet against the market right now. When you set a price target on a trade, make sure you take profits off the table the closer you get to your goal. Remember that as you inch closer to your target, the reward to risk shifts to the downside. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.